Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 biggest moments in British music history. For this list, we'll be looking at most talked about moments or events that have inspired careers and catapulted people into worldwide stardom. If you have a favourite British music artist, make sure you let us know in the comments. Number 10. Beatles Rooftop Concert, 1969 It all happened so fast. Just five years earlier, the Beatles decided to grace their US fans with a piece of the mania by appearing on The Ed Sullivan Show. They defined the 60s pop culture by releasing the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album, but it all came to an end in 1969 at number 3 Savile Row in central London. I think it's marvellous. Yes. You know who it is? Beatles, I think. On January 30th, the Beatles decided to perform a 42-minute long impromptu rooftop concert that ended with the arrival of the Metropolitan Police. No one knew it at the time, but this was their very last public performance. What a bittersweet goodbye. Right, so you've got to be necessary, all right? I mean, we've got 30 minutes to in minutes. Number 9. The Spice Girls Break Up, 2000 if you're a 90s pop baby, this was most likely one of your first big heartbreaks. It all started when Jerry Halliwell announced she was leaving the Spice Girls in 1998, just days before their last tour as a quintet. I was thinking, oh my god, this is the last time I'm gonna sing this with these girls, I can't do it anymore. Although the four remaining members decided to continue performing, they failed to achieve previous levels of success. After releasing their album, Forever, in 2000, the group announced they were going on a hiatus. Fans mourned the breakup and the entire world waited on their reunion. Well, we searched for her in the hotel and we couldn't find her. And she'd got herself on a flight and headed back to England. It finally happened in 2007, 2012 and once again in 2019. Number 8. Amy Winehouse wins five Grammys in one night, 2008. They tried to make me go to rehab, I said no, no, no. Although these days, British singers like Adele are no strangers to winning multiple Grammys, no one saw this coming. At the time, The Guardian even reported that events such as the Grammys don't typically recognise artists like Winehouse. But she proved she had what it took to make it big when she bagged not one, not two, but five Grammys in one night. She won Song of the Year, Record of the Year, Best Female Pop Vocal Performance and Best Pop Vocal Album. Winehouse was visibly shocked as she accepted the award with her mother by her side and said her thank yous. Number 7. Brit Pop Battle for Number 1, 1995 Mid-90s, the UK entered another iconic phase as Britpop took over the charts, but there were only two bands that were really going at it to reach that number one spot. Blur and Oasis released their new singles on the exact same day. The battle was intense. People bought one song for the specific purpose of beating the other. However, it was Blur that ended up winning after selling 270,000 copies of Country House. Oasis was not far off with 220,000 copies of Roll With It. But all was well in the Britpop world because just a year later, Oasis went on to perform a record-setting show. Number 6. First Glastonbury, 1972 The popular UK music festival attracted 200,000 people in 2022, but back in 1970, the very first Glastonbury festival was called the Pop, Blues and Folk Festival. That had an attendance of 1,500 people, but it marked the beginning of the epicness we know and love today. Tickets were just £1, and first acts included Steam Hammer, Quintessence, Stack Ridge, Al Stewart, Pink Fairies, and Keith Christmas. 
things really took off the following year when the festival first introduced the iconic Pyramid Stage and featured David Bowie as a performer. The festival became an annual event after the 1980s when it also saw its very first TV coverage. Number 5. David Bowie Debuts Ziggy Stardust 1971 the spaceman Ziggy Stardust was officially born on February 10th, 1972, during the concert at London's Toby Jug Pub. David Bowie knew exactly how big Ziggy Stardust would become. The persona was inspired by a mix of eccentric people he'd met or admired in his life, including Vince Taylor. He took the name Ziggy from a random shop he saw while on the train. Toby Jug Pub had an audience of about 60 people who were the very lucky ones to be the first to witness the birth of Ziggy Stardust. Three weeks before the performance, Bowie announced that he was going to be huge, and he was right. Number 4. Live Aid 1985 Held in Wembley Stadium in the UK and the JFK Stadium in the US, charity event Live Aid was one of the biggest concerts the UK has ever seen. Almost 40% of the world's population watched the live stream and proved that music really makes people come together. Live Aid had some pretty iconic moments, including the Led Zeppelin reunion and the performances of two rock giants, U2 and Queen. <laughs> Thanks to the concert, albums like Madonna's Like a Virgin and Phil Collins' No Jacket Required even made their way back to the charts. Live Aid eventually raised an impressive $127 million in famine relief for African nations. Number 3. Elton John Comes Out 1976 in 1976, Elton John announced that he was bisexual, which was the start of his status as an LGBT plus icon. I had a few friends, I had my cousins and stuff like that, but music was my best friend um, and I lived and breathed for it. This was six years after he dated his music manager, John Reed. He told the Rolling Stone magazine that there is nothing wrong with going to bed with same-sex people and that he thinks everyone is bisexual, to a certain degree. He didn't officially come out as gay until his Rolling Stone interview in 1992. Between those years and long after, John became an important music figure to the LGBT plus community and inspired people to live their true version of themselves. Number 2. Queen releases Bohemian Rhapsody, 1975. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? These days, it's rare to meet someone who hasn't heard Bohemian Rhapsody at least once in their lives. Bohemian Rhapsody was released as a mock opera and a mix of three separate songs written by Freddie Mercury. Queen released the song in 1975 and were warned that it's too long and would never become a hit. those people were proven wrong. Not only did Bohemian Rhapsody become the number one hit, it also did so twice, with the same version, after it was re-released in 1991. Although it is criticised by many, it is generally regarded as one of the greatest rock songs of all time. Number 1. John Lennon is Killed, 1980 It was the moment that shocked the world. On December 8, 1980, the news of Lennon's assassination quickly began to spread. Lennon was killed by Mark David Chapman, a fan of the Beatles who was completely mesmerised by Lennon's lifestyle. You may say I'm a dreamer. Chapman planned his act over several months and even met Lennon earlier that day. He remained at the scene, reading The Catcher in the Rye, and later revealed that the act was inspired by a character in the book. Fans were heartbroken, and reports state that at least three people ended their lives because of John Lennon's passing. 